good morning how are you my name is john and i like to make videos about books and today i have a new book that i want to show you first and this is i hope you can see it this is the libra librarian of auschwitz uh, have you heard about this term auschwitz before if you didn't then this place is in poland and it was earlier a concentration camp and then and later it became an extermination camp of the jews okay before i continue let me tell you even though if you are children then i i do want to warn you that this we uh, this video in this video i will talk and use some uh, deadly words like death and extermination killing shootings so i i warn you in in pause if you don't want to hear about these terms or you don't want to know the details of this thing then you can you know switch off this video right now and now i will continue and i am almost 30 pages into this book and this book has all almost 400 approximate 400 pages and earlier this book was published in spanish by a spanish author and later on it was translated into english language and it was released in english in the year of 2017 at that time i wanted to read this book but due to some reasons i couldn't because i had to catch other things as well but a uh, few weeks back i went to my library and there i found this book and i got the copy and yesterday uh, i was thinking about which book should i read because i i was no i was in no mood to read completely non fiction book because i wanted to read something fictional something story like and those even though this book is based on true events and the events are completely real but still it is presented as a fiction fictional book so this was the major impetus that forced me or pushed me to grab this copy and I, uh, and I seriously tell you first 30 pages were very interesting and I, I, I am very hopeful uh, about the rest of the book and it is like any other you know Nazi Holocaust book where there are deadly details and this book is about a girl who is almost 14 years old when she was brought to Auschwitz concentration camp and she is from I think Czechoslovakia and later on she was moved to a ghetto and from there on she was uh, transported to Auschwitz and there her life completely changed and due to circumstances she was uh, forced to become not forced but she herself chose this uh, occupation because of the circumstances and because of her own interests she became the librarian in Auschwitz and she was the in charge of eight books only eight books was in her possession and those eight books uh, were of diverse uh, topics and one more interesting thing is that there were teachers as well because uh, this uh, she she belonged to a separate block children's block which was created to divert uh, the attention of the parents so that parents thought that their children are in safe place so that they could focus on their work without worrying about their children so block 31 was the name of the place where children was placed and there they were taught some basic things and there were only two three professors and they rarely had any books about the topics and they used to teach from their own knowledge and uh, there were just eight books yeah it's it's chilling to think about that with just with just eight books they were managing so many children and you would believe that these eight books were not in the knowledge of Nazi SS police officers. If they had found these books, they would have exterminated the whole camp in a second. So uh, the girl, the name of the girl, the protagonist of this novel, 
is uh, uh, let me see this i don't want to pronounce it wrong data cross so she was in charge of those book and every day she used to hide these books in a different places and some uh, she would lend this book to teachers and after uh, you know the due due time or due date she would take this book back and hid it somewhere in a safe custody so uh, as you can see this on the cover as well there is a girl and it is a star of david and these are books and there are just eight books uh, if you count this so it seems very interesting and as i read 20 to 30 pages i found it very interesting and 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 this my new details are sometimes very fascinating and it keeps me glued to read more and more you would believe that in the morning when i started reading this i wanted to read it more and more but that was the time for me for my running so i put this down and went out for for the run and now again i will read i think i will cover 100 pages in my second reading as i want to read it faster and yeah i i think this is the main thing what else should i cover i'm also making notes as well some important points uh, and and one more thing when if you get this copy uh, this book is really challenging especially when you you come across the names of the characters like some names are you know very difficult to pronounce like uh, Alfred Hirsch who was the uh, in charge of the school that is block 31 and Freddie Hirsch he was an athlete so these names are very difficult to pronounce and you will find you will find names of the SS officers and the designation or the title of these officers are also very difficult to pronounce moreover the territories or the places are also very difficult to pronounce the name Auschwitz is a simplified version the real name is something very difficult to pronounce as you can read from here this is Auschwitz I, I can't pronounce it but it's in Poland so this will you know discourage you from reading but don't mind these small things just keep on reading for the big idea for the big picture and I hope I hope you will get a lot from this book and you will have an idea about the whole uh, functioning of the concentration or extermination camp and yeah and I have also noted down some important vocabulary as well and there is one more very interesting character in this uh, novel that is Dr. Joseph Mengel he was infamous for his experiment on the twins so you will see his role in this novel and yeah and, and there were some interesting uh, lines that grabbed my attention i do want to repeat this for you if i find it give me a second if you don't mind <clears throat> like in the second chapter uh, I, I am going to read this small portion the first lesson any veteran veteran of Auschwitz camp veteran inmate teaches a recent arrival is that you must always be clear about your goal that is survival to survive a few more hours and in this way gain another day that added to other days might become one more week you must Continue like this, never making big plans, never having big goals, only surviving each moment. To live is a verb that makes sense only in the present tense. Such such an interesting passage. And, and one more interesting thing is that in this camp, courage was not a smart choice. People used to be covered because of their safety. Whoever uh, showed courage death was imminent for that person so that you know inside the camp the life was very difficult children are immediately separated 
from their parents and old people or people who are no longer no longer needed by the Reich or the SS officer were immediately pushed into the gas chambers and they were immediately killed so so Auschwitz camp was like a killing machine a killing factory in in a very well organized way I'm going to read this more and more and I will I will present my view on this as I read further and I hope I hope you will grab this copy and if you have interest in uh, Nazi literature I don't say I I don't think I should say Nazi literature but the German history that is quite infamous and the stories of Jewish survival and these survivors they they were extremely bold and and if you get a copy of these survival you will get to know about so many things of this particular period of nazi history of german history i think my video is getting longer and that is for now and uh, i will i will log again whenever i finish 100 pages or before that there is no compulsion that i come online after 100 pages and i hope you have a good time be safe and thank you very much if you are still glued to my video till the end thank you so much have a nice time